Good morning, Nigeria. Good morning, world. You're welcome on Morning Spring for today, uh, the midweek installment of the program where we talk about everything important. And Femi Ojo is my name. You're very much welcome. Uzom is there. Good morning. Good morning, Femi. Yeah. And good morning. <laughs> How was your right. Oh, like I said before, cold. Cold, right? Yeah, okay. it's still cold. Okay, yeah. okay. Good morning, dearest listeners, and welcome to another show yeah. today. Mm. Of course, they are ready, and of course, we are ready as well. Uh, as you already know, we start from the pages of the newspapers, the front pages, rather, and then we then get talking about various issues. But before that, <clears throat> I think uh, the nation and the story that has been coming majorly this week has been from the courts, actually. From the yeah. daily team, <laughs> daily, as it's daily team, daily daily team, me. you know, who has been dragged before the court. By the way, he was arraigned yesterday for another fresh count of charges. Yeah. And um, he was denied bail on that particular one. Yeah, and, um, December. You know, yeah, he 20th. got bail on a previous yeah. arraignment. 50 million with a couple of conditions and of course but yesterday he was denied Night bail deal. again and of course the white lion himself Yahya Belu, uh, former governor of Kogi State was dragged before he had his day in court and he was denied bail again yeah. so he's been from the court mm -hmm. to the court and um, you know about the will of justice so uh, yesterday two men were in the court among many other persons you know, yeah but you know That's those cases ones, yeah. were quite public no, yeah yeah so they have been denied their bill as well and that's at the behest uh the wisdom of the milot at the court to say no this is not granted at this time and people have been talking okay maybe this is fine i mean as much the, the song we think is is a teach for tat thing and yeah. these are two gentlemen you know, being parried, I mean, being arranged in arraigned different in courts. courts, different states for different um, accusations, accusations and charges, rather. So, the late Farah Timi was denied bail. Yahya Bello was denied bail. Some persons have trends online are saying that Yahya Bello will be spending his Christmas in mm. Kujie prison. <laughs> <laughs> and I'm like, Nigerians Same as the I think his case was at John till January. Yeah, but they said the bill had been postponed, postponed to mm. December 20. Okay. Yeah, the so hearing. Yeah. Okay. So probably he might get out before 25th of <laughs> Whatever it December. is, I think they should know what to do and their lawyers should know what to do as yeah. well, you know. And um, it is what it is. That's part of what we are following for you at this time. And this morning we'll be talking about, among many other things, about the young people and um you know the drive against anti-corruption two days ago was the anti-corruption day globally um this year the drive is more about the youth uniting with the youth you know so we'll be having some gentlemen you know to discuss this matter with us the anti-corruption drive globally and then in nigeria because many persons were saying government corruption organizations corruptions maybe in some religious places corruption as well and is the bane of Nigeria's progress. Is it really the corruption? And what kind of corruption are we talking about? Financial, because uh, it's not only corruption, finance-related corruption that is only corruption. When yeah. you do things the wrong way for a particular motive and f to get a particular gain without following due process, that it's corruption. is corruption as well. But then we look into that in the course of the program. We are very ready for you. And I know you are as well. Stay with us. We'll get back. All right, and uh, we'll be kickstarting uh, the newspaper segment at this time. And um, we'll start with the Daily Trust. The Daily Trust newspaper. Reps ask CBN to address cash crunch with a rider. Apex Bank tightens news on fintechs. Okay, Reps ask CBN to address cash crunch. And it seems we don't learn nothing in the manner of speaking in this nation. It, 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 we just keep regurgitating, keep doing things the wrong way and keep getting the wrong answer. Results. And we keep 
putting people in problems, yes, especially you know, towards the eulogy. Almost every December, something, something must come up that will be that will make life difficult for, for people. people. If it's not about cash crunch, then it's about fear. Feel? It's one thing or the <laughs> other. Okay, maybe fear is expensive, but it's av available now. Okay, we hope it remains that way. Yeah. Although things are a bit inflated, but at least it's available if you can buy. But this one about cash, for almost three years running, you will always know one policy, you okay, one mopping problem. up of uh, old cash Ask. from the circulation. Should you do it towards this time? I don't understand. And if actually they want to do that, shouldn't they have, shouldn't, it be done smoothly yeah, in as much you are withdrawing boom they you can know? do it in in the space of a year i'm telling instead you instead of just coming in just few months before the end of the year month. where people will be making so much but transactions withdrawals, withdrawals, be, buying you. and selling like and, and all of these things will come up again then brands uh, are asking cbn to address cash crunch you know it's it's a shameful thing perhaps we should call it what it is it is shameful that whoever you know wherever People should take responsibility. We will not. And I can assure you, reps calling the CBN means nothing. I can categorically say from this table, it means nothing. It just be a couple of handshakes and some, you know, speaking of some jargons and grammar. And that's all. Everybody continue with the pain that they are having at this time. It's, it's, a, serious, it's a serious issue. Because you call it even a yesterday, yeah. yesterday I, I went to get cash. Mm. I was told there was no cash. Yeah. Like, I was like, what? Give me ten thousand naira. I want to pay. You know they charge it. No, no, you can only get five. You go to ATMs, the whole place is dried up. Hmm. So what exactly is the problem with Nigeria? I don't understand. The what? Andlers, we always have the cash. people in power. What is the problem? And then CBN will tell you, oh, we have enough in circulation. Yeah. So where is the problem? CBN would say is the banks. Yeah. The banks will revert back to CBN. They are CBN. not getting enough like, from the CBN. I, if it's the bank, can you please move around and shame the criminals? But I do, because we know some bank managers, some officials do racketeering at this time. Yeah. But either is the bank, the deposit money banks, the fintechs, or the Central Bank of Nigeria. One thing is sure, the, the, the people that are suffering from this kind of policy are you. I know. You are not. Citizens. The people watching us at this time. And that is why you have a government. The welfare of the people. Reps calling the CBN to do what exactly? Well, if actually the CBN is saying it's the uh, banks mm. and the banks are saying it's CBN, mm. we're uh, already, we are already aware or kind of used to the fact that during the season, mm. something like this always comes up. Of why course. not start on time? Volume of buying a like, transaction will yeah. be high. Why not so start can you please adjust your work working on everything exactly on time? So. Exactly. It's, you, you say it's a serious challenge. I call it a shame. They should be ashamed of themselves. Everybody, and uh, this is not me being, uh, you know, unpatriotic. In fact, this is me being patriotic. So you can't keep doing this back and forth. You already know the moment you are eating November, December, the volume of buying stuff will go high. high. People want to make a lot of purchase. And then, you know the worst thing? They will tell you to use their online platforms. is 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 a trash. I'm telling you. How many, your how, many network app, crisis. how many bank apps are functional? Like, you can really rely, except these fintechs. And these fintechs are the ones CBN is having problem with at this time. You know what they say, at the one popular thing at that time, Sheffield Power. And what else? Do you want to kill us? This is the issue as well. Everybody, reps, CBN, everybody. You cover your eyes in shame. If actually there's anything called shame at this time. Because even I, you, you know... At this time, there are things you should do so yes. that everything will, will work smoothly. There are preparations. You, before you do anything, you have to make preparations. You already know. Everything December, Ulita, Christmas, Bynes, it's sacrosanct. People will do it. Either they, are, they have enough or they don't have enough. And this is the time we are still. Next year, if nothing is done, we'll still be we'll here. Still be. If actually we are here to talk about this we'll nonsense. We'll back to the and same you still thing. see parliamentarians saying the CBS should see them, a bank should see them. And it's, it's a shame, I repeat, for the opening time, it's a shame. And moving on, ECOWAS may formalize Burkina Faso, Mali, and Niger exit. Right. It seems the ship are sealed already with these uh, uh, African brothers, African states, who have exited and they don't want to come back. Now, please recover fake $3.3 million dollars. Cephas, $51.9 million, and $1.4 million in Kano. Fake. 
and you could see uh, the watts of free cash displayed there with these uh, men. I don't think I should call them gentlemen. All right. The men and the cash are displayed there. Imagine somebody being paid 1.4 million dollars. I mean, 1.4 million naira that is fake at this time, and 3.3 .3 million dollars that is fake. Jesus. It's disheartening. Like I saw something online um, a few days ago. Yeah. Uh, a widow with three children mm. who um, wasn't at her shop actually. Mm. She left, and someone came to buy five bags of rice mm. and gave her daughter all fake. 1,000 naira notes. Person paid in cash. Person paid in cash. And it was all fake notes. All fake. And on the video, they were just, the woman and the children, they were praying for the person that it would never be well with the person. I'm like, how do people do this? How do you sleep peacefully with your conscience? Oh, the you just went go. away with it? Yes. The, person, the woman wasn't around, so he mm. bought, or he, she, I don't know the person, the mm. gender bought from the child. Mm. And you know, children are not always, yeah. You don't really know it's, these it's, things. And this is not about the government right now. It's about human yes. wickedness against another human. Of course. Exactly. And it's a, we should have it. It's a shame. I know you as well. You, that person should be caught and be through, uh, you know, to go through the course of the law. Uh, Rights Commission receives 2 million violation complaints annually. And Nigeria, far from fighting institutional corruption, World Bank, we will get there because of the program. Nigeria, far from fighting institutional corruption. That will be up on the Daily Trust. Okay, and the Guardian here says, cash scarcity worsens as banks upgraded digital platforms falter. Cash scarcity worsens as banks upgraded, upgraded digital platforms falter. Well, if you look at the Guardian, you see the picture there. You see the ATM out of cash and the POS, you see a line of people mm. queue there waiting to get cash. We also have CBN Awards OPE for Financial Inclusion Innovation. CBN Awards OPE for Financial Inclusion Innovation. Also, court remands Yahaya, Yahaya Bello in Kojip in Kuje, pending bail application. Court remands Yahaya Bello in Kuje, pending bail application. ASU strike. Students suspend planned protest. Issue 48 hour ultimatum. ASU strike. Students suspend planned protest. Issue 48 hour ultimatum. We also have cyber crime law. Deformation, now weapons of prosecution. NGE Serap say. Cybercrime law. Deformation now weapons of prosecution. NGE Serap say. Also, consumers. NERC kick as discos push for 240 kilowatt hour tariff. <laughs> now we are back to electricity tariff. Wonderful. Consumers. NERC kick as disco pushes for 240 kilowatt tariff. Federal government suspends energy tariff review as four month subsidy hits 768.68 billion naira. Federal government suspends energy tariff review as four month subsidy hits 768.68 billion naira. Tax reforms. Southern reps back Tinubu as stakeholders clash over VAT hike, economic impact. Tax reforms. Southern reps back Tinubu as stakeholders clash over VAT hike, economic impact. Okay. And we have here, if you look at a picture, we have Tinubu commits to delivering promises, Loud's interior minister. Tinibu commits to delivering promises, Loud's interior minister. And that will be all from The Guardian this morning. And uh, we move to the Nigerian Tribune. The Nigerian Tribune is next. <clears throat> Excuse me. Reps, Southern Caucus, backs tax reform deals. 
it is what it is. The Northern uh, Caucus ruling now, the, the Southeast Senate Caucus are saying pause. Let's consult. That was yesterday. And today yeah. is being reported that this reps, the Southern Caucus, are backing the tax reform bills. You know, a lot. And um, riders, a couple of riders here says ready for negotiation with the Northern lawmakers. Uh, the Southern lawmakers are ready to negotiate with the Southern lawmakers. All in the same good people, great nation, country for Nigeria. And what tax reform bills we do for Nigerians? Fiscal Responsibility Commission. Our stance aligns with Tinubu's vision. Aram Fag. Our stance aligns with Tinubu's vision. Aram Fag. Uh, okay. Um, below that, we have alleged 110 billion naira fraud. Court remands Yahya Bello in. Kuje prison adjourns case till January 29. Court remands Yahya Bello in Kuje prison adjourns case till January 29. Okay. And Nigeria recorded 467,000 tuberculosis cases in 2023. That's a report. Nigeria recorded 467,000 tuberculosis TB cases in 2023. Uh, I think that calls for more work, you know, advocacies, interventions, health workers, the health ministry, everybody taking it upon ourselves to be well educated to know what to do. Okay, and uh, because tuberculosis, if not well treated, can be fatal. And workers shut down WAEC offices nationwide over salary review, sacked staff. Again, workers shut down WAEC offices nationwide over salary review and sacked staff. Okay, WAEC, West African Examination Council offices, short nationwide, but it's workers over salary review. Okay, something should be done because we're talking about education there. Um, maybe the Nigerian office is the one being um, affected. The WAEC is for West Africa. Yeah. And so if the Nigerian office is being shut down, how will the rest of the other offices in other countries see us in mm. Sierra Leone, in Togo, in Benin, actually, and the so-called big brother, yeah. Nigeria? Giant of Africa. Is having these issues as well. Uh, something <laughs> must, must be done. Now, Sanwulu inaugurates a network of roads in Ikoi. Right? Sanwulu inaugurates a network of roads in Ikoi. Good one about infrastructure there. Tinubu inaugurates, uh, the season of inauguration right now. Tinubu inaugurates immigration innovative complex. Tinubu, as a president, inaugurates immigration innovative complex. Comments to Jiojo. Olubu Mitujojo is the Minister of Interior. And uh, below that, there is a writer says, what was achieved on passport alone has given this country great reputation internationally expresses pride at how nrs does in nigeria immigration services imagine as frontline security outfit mm. okay now, nigeria should be the judge of that if actually the nigeria immigration service are really uh, a frontline security out fear because we are still talking about how about the northern borders okay just not just the southern brothers the northern brothers that appear sometimes is not being manned and those criminals work out they just come in and go out everybody just do whatever they want and the immigration officials are supposed to be there so how frontline is the kind of work that they do there the president has said that they are you know imagine as a frontline security outfit what do Femi know? What do I know? The well, president has spoken. We'll just be watching. <laughs> and be speaking as well. Exactly. So these issues, uh, he says, what was achieved on passport alone has given this country great reputation internationally. All right. That's BT Obumi Tunjiojo there. And many persons will say, uh, maybe Olubumi Tunjiojo is one of the few uh, shining lights of this administration i mean the cabinet members because 
He has been reformist in approach and innovative as well, you know, by whatever yastic you might want to use. All right. And we can always do more as well. So you see the picture of the NRS boss there. And of course, Mr. President in the middle. And then the minister, Ulubumi Tunji Ojo. And top strip, Tinubu appoints Ugujimi acting accountant general of the federation. Tinubu appoints Ugujimi acting accountant general. Uh, accountant general of the federation. That was uh, after Mr. Mami. The last person there, Madeng, has left and Ogun Jimmy has come in in acting capacity now. Away from that, court postpones Faro Timi's bail application till December 20. Court postpones Faro Timi's bail application till December 20. Okay, it is what it is. And reps probe CBN over scarcity of Naira notes, uh, you know. <laughs> As I'm citing, you know, these headlines this morning, especially from the refs, you know, the probing, quote unquote, probing the CBN over scarcity of narrow notes. It can make you very upset, as yeah. Nigerians to say. You already know, and this is not me being sarcastic, you already know nothing will happen. Like, it's, nothing. It's. This is just window dressing. It's I'm exhausting telling you, because it's, it's something, play to the gallery. It, it feels like it's just a normal routine. It, uh, let's it, just it, say it. Oh, okay. Let's just say it. Let's wait let's for, <laughs> for the outcome of this. Nothing will happen that will be so drastic that people will see that, oh, there is a change. I Nothing can remember early happen. this year. Yeah. Was it this year? Okay, early last year mm. when we had to buy cash. Mm. That was terrible. Yeah, that was last year. Yeah. When and of course, two years ago. When the whole new cash something, the yeah, like it was crazy. The you're LMA buying, <laughs> you're buying five thousand naira. You are using one, Nigerian two, cash to one buy five. Cash. Yeah, and I'm like, that may period, we never return to that era. That actually. period, I, I stopped going to the market. Actually, I started visiting um all these you know squares, these <laughs> supermarkets to uh, buy because that's where you can actually buy it, your ATM. It is because you have opportunity to do that because yeah. you are in the city at that point. People that doesn't have malls, that doesn't have big stores, that can take your card from you. So yeah. what are they left with? It was a, it it's, was an harrowing experience. Uh -huh. Nigerians doesn't want to go back to that point. But these uh -oh. reps, calling the CBN, prove us wrong. That something drastic, a drastic measure will be taken, and then we we'll retrieve our words and we we'll give you the kudos that you belong. But as it stands now, you know what they say on the street: no be today. It's, <laughs> it's, it's, it's normal. Some persons will wear suit and come, mm. and handshake will be, be given, and then there will be interchange of words from both divides of the table, and, and the nothing dies. will happen. Nothing. It is what it is. But we hope something good will happen. That will be all from this segment at this time. We want this quick break. When we'll come back, we speak to matters that matter. Come on, this break today. Stay with us.